All right, guys, today I want to show a super simple mount escape that I don't think there's one easier than this. Uh, Gordon Ryan actually is a big proponent of using this uh, right now, or at least a variation of it. I've been using the version I'm going to show for like 15, 16 years, but I'll, uh, I'll break it down for you. So it's, this escape is best when someone passes your guard and they get to mount without stabilizing. But even if they get heavy, um, you can still use it. So what I like to do is, again, I like to bring my heels in towards my butt, and I like to get the palm of my hand on his hips here. Now what I'm going to do is bridge my hips up and see I'm creating it and I'm going to push this up and kind of bring my elbow to my knee. So I'm going to come here and come in like this. Okay. Super simple. And the great thing about this one, it's best used before they get heavy and before they stabilize. But even if they anchor under me and he gets an arm under my head, I need to protect myself from any kind of choke, but then automatically I can go here. You can't waste time to just, okay. And what you see Gordon do, he tends to go side to side with it. And that works just as well. And I recommend that when this version doesn't work. I'll face you guys. Usually this version works for me. So I'm here. And you know, and if you don't like butterfly guard, you can go back and lock it up here. But I've been using this probably since 2005, 2006. And it's so easy sometimes I forget about it. And I actually try round escapes that are harder. But what you see Gordon do is he, he does it and he turns off to the side and he keeps pushing. And he kind of does it like that. And he's the best there is right now, one of the best ever. So that way definitely works. I find this version <clears throat> works just as well. But again, even if he gets under my head, and the gi, you gotta be careful because there's Ezekiel chokes and stuff here. But if you can bring this hand up, that's good. Get your hand here, and then quickly bring this one down. And as soon as both hands are on the hips, no, they'll fall over. And, and if it doesn't work, you might have to do it a couple times. So say, I'm trying to get Michael to go, and I create space, but it's not working. All right? What I'm doing is essentially holding him in the air, bringing my knees together, and back out. Okay? One more time. All right? So I'll even do it kind of facing the camera. So watch what my knees do. My knees are going to come together and go between his legs. So I'm here, and then I come in here. Okay? So what it would look like without a person is basically... Hands on your hips, hips in the air, and then go elbow to knee. That's all you're doing, right? This little drill. Okay. Like I said, Gordon Ryan's using it right now, or a variation of it, he tends to go side to side. And if going straight up and down doesn't work, start going side to side. It's uh, the best guys in the world can't hold him down. I use it all the time against everyone, and it still works. Like I said, I got away from it for a long time, but uh, this most basic one there is, you just need to protect yourself. Don't put your hands on the hips and wait there. You're gonna get, if it's a fight, you're gonna get punched. And if it's gi, especially if you run the risk of getting submitted, so defend yourself and just go and explode. And keep exploding until so they either counter it or until you get out, you're more likely to get out. So uh, I call this the hip pop. Uh, Gordon Ryan calls it, you know, or it's the kipping escape. You know, if you kip side to side, he kind of like turns sideways and goes like that. But very similar to, uh, to what he's doing. And it's something I've been using for years. Give it a shot.